what sort of situations uh, result in people going to court? Well, I think the most obvious one is if you're accused of a, of a crime, and yeah. you, you have to appear as a defendant. Mm -hmm. And that's usually mandatory. If you don't attend, what would usually happen is the case would be decided in your absence. You can also be asked to appear at court if you're a witness. Mm. That is usually also uh, mandatory. A witness yeah. summons can be issued. And that means that in the course of a criminal case, in a trial, yeah. questions can be asked of you, of the lawyers for the defence and the lawyers for the prosecution as well. Uh, if you have a child who's under 18, well, uh, someone who's under 18, mm -hmm. who's accused of a criminal offence, you might be asked to appear with them at court. That doesn't mean that, that uh, an under 18 can't appear without their parent, but mm -hmm. that's something that often happens. Uh, one other thing is, yeah. is, is whether you're, you've received a jury summons. Uh, and that means to go to a Crown Court mm -hmm. or certain other courts like a, uh, uh, an inquest uh, after a death uh, and appear as a juror to decide on the facts of the case. Mm. That again is mandatory. It's actually very serious if you don't attend. Uh, finally, if you're a complainant or a victim in a case, mm -hmm. well, if you're a witness in that case, you'll, you'll have to attend to give evidence. But sometimes a victim of a case might not have to attend at court you might not be a witness because uh, you didn't see who stole your handbag, but mm -hmm. you might want to be there to see what the right. defendant says mm -hmm. and if they're convicted, to see them sentenced.